Hi Taurus, welcome to your mid-October general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Taurus. This will not resonate with every Taurus that watches this message, and because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you, so please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you at all, Taurus, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Taurus. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Taurus and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the most. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and get this reading started by using my sound bowl to clear the energy. If you are listening to this using headphones, I do suggest turning it down a little bit. I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's go ahead and get this reading started. Very nice. Okay, interesting. Um, this is probably going to be for a few of you, and sometimes my messages, my ins like my visions of what I hear aren't so literal. They just provide um, guidance to the messages I'm supposed to say, and they use symbols and words to help me with those. But what I saw was like the, you know that Rolling Stone symbol of the tongue sticking out, kind of like that? <laughs> Um, a couple different things, I mean, and then I heard the ACDC song, uh, or like the album, a song on that album, Back to Black, I think is the name of the album, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, someone may be really into rock and roll. I got a couple things though, is the thing is that I feel someone has been like frustrated or confused or anxious about a connection they have with you, Taurus, or maybe this is your energy, and they've been listening to music to kind of vibe out what's going on. And I don't know if you get messages through spirit from music, like lyrics, um, a certain song that you feel just so connects with you and the connection you're going through right now. Someone could be a musician, perhaps, um, writes songs, writes music. Um, but then I also kind of heard Kali Ma, and maybe Kali Ma is a goddess that you revere to, a goddess that you've been looking up, or Kali Ma wants to connect with you who's a goddess about transformation. Um, so something may be transforming in this connection here, or maybe you're going through a transformation yourself within this connection. Uh, I don't know, someone could have a tongue piercing. Those are very small general messages. Let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. They don't have to resonate with you in order for this reading to resonate, but let's see. I'm curious, tell me about my beautiful Torian's love life in the month of August. Maybe this is gonna resonate with someone, but like, Someone has kept a picture or someone has a social media picture of them with their tongue out, like going out late at night. Someone was a little tipsy, decided to take the tongue out for a picture and someone still has that picture on their phone. I don't know. Anyway. Ooh, yeah. I can see why Kali Ma came through for you guys. Forgiving and learning. And it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments with romantic feelings. Wow. Okay, Taurus. I hate to say this, but this des definitely feels like X energy. I definitely feel someone wants you back. Someone misses you. Someone, I don't know, it, it, it's this, I feel like they've come to a major realization about you, Taurus. And maybe you guys are not in communication right now. Maybe you guys recently separated, I'm kind of feeling. And maybe that's why you're like listening to breakup songs or someone is, but like, they really regret what happened between the two of you because they still love you. That's what I get with the romantic feelings. Um, I feel that you're, they're going to maybe come back to ask for your forgiveness, apologize to you. And if this isn't so serious, like you guys broke up, um, completely separated, maybe you guys just got in like a fight or like a disagreement 
that kind of blew up, a blew a little overboard, especially if there was like alcohol involved. I don't know why I'm picking up on that, but someone got a little drunk, said something foolishly, and it set someone off. Um, but I do think they're going to call you and apologize. And I almost feel like there's been tears around this, crying around this. Um, yeah, it's either someone's kind of devastated, heartbroken, or they feel really bad. But there are romantic feelings still involved. Wow. Okay. Now I guess, Taurus, I kind of feel like you're going to be put in the position where it's like you're going to demand expectations if this person is going to, if you guys are going to continue to have this connection or if you guys did break up, you are going to demand an expect, uh, an, what is that word? You're going to demand a reason as to why they kind of, I don't know, freaked out. I feel like someone just freaked out over you, freaked out to you, and it wasn't okay. I'm seeing the letter R and V. Someone could have an RV, a motorhome, uh, I don't know, just reading that up. But I'm curious to see what else is going on in this Taurus. I really do feel someone is very upset about you over the situation with you. And I even feel like they tell people like, there's never gonna be someone else like Taurus. Taurus is the only one for me. And they're like dead set on having you. But you're gonna be put in the position to give your expectations very clearly. And I really do feel you're the one, maybe before you felt like you were powerless in this connection because of your feelings towards them, but now you have the upper hand, you have the power to change this to transform it or to cut it for good. So let's go ahead and see what this is all about. Tell me more, spirit. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, five of swords here. Okay, let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. Okay, Taurus, at the bottom of the deck we have the three of swords, yeah. Libra energy, you could be dealing with the Libra, you could have Libra in your chart, does not have to be the case in order to resonate, but there's definitely been hurt, heartbreak. But for a lot of you, I do feel like you are separated or haven't talked in a few days, a few weeks. It feels very recent. For some, if it has been years, great. But it feels like if it has been years, like recently all this has come up for some reason. Maybe Mercury retrograde, I don't know. But I really have to say, Taurus, I feel someone's heartbroken over you. And someone's waiting for the other person, definitely, to talk, to speak up, to apologize. And I feel someone thinks that they can't move on until that happens. But I, you know, I don't think anyone should ever wait on someone to give the other person closure. I think sometimes we can only give ourselves closure for certain situations. But yeah, man, Taurus, with this Three of Swords, um, I definitely feel there's a lot of regret, a lot of pain, a lot of loss. And they miss having you over, and I'm specifically hearing like they miss having you in bed, like just waking up to you. I feel like someone's scent lingers, like someone wears a lot of perfume, cologne, expensive ones maybe, and like, when someone used to leave the bed, like the sheets and the pillow, you still smelled like them. Um, and it's like one specific perfume someone always buys or cologne that always wears. It doesn't change up. It's just so perfect for that one person. I'm hearing come back to me. Like that's the energy I feel that is surrounding this connection. But maybe someone had to pull out to get their head clear about this to really see if this is what they want, if this is what they desire in a connection. I feel like you guys have been at this for a very long time. But there's definitely someone who wants to pull a Lazarus here and start something brand new. And honestly, Taurus, I gotta say for some, not all, some of you, um, this person feels like they've changed a lot because of you, because of the connection they had with you and what it's opened themselves up to in regards to their own behaviors but honestly and anyone can tell you this if anyone has been abusive hurtful narcissistic no one would ever tell you to go back to them okay so 
if that's your case, that's your case. But I do see someone wanting to return back to your life, maybe already has, and wants to try to get things to work out with you guys again. Damn. Someone has back dimples or a very sexy back. Like, I don't know if it's a back tattoo, a really toned back, a soft back. I'm even feeling someone like kissing like <laughs> up my spine to my neck. You guys are very sensual with one another. Very sensual. But let's go ahead and get this going. Crossing this is the Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. Mental conflict, huge mental confliction over you, Taurus, or maybe, you know, because this person has come back or the thought of this person coming back, it's kind of putting you in this mental rut right now. There's a lot of memories you guys have together. There's a lot of things that stuck with both of you. And I feel with this Five of Swords, like, I don't know, it's something weird between the two of you guys that... If you do separate, if there has been a disagreement, like you always somehow come back together, but whatever has made you separate this time around was so impactful. You almost thought that there's no way this can be fixed or that this hurt deep, whatever that was. Someone used to whisper in someone else's ear when they were out at parties or out about and people would just whisper like, you look so good in that. Um, I can't wait to get you home. Um, or even whisper when making love in the ear. And something really stuck with someone that someone said. And I do feel like it was hurtful. And I feel someone only said that because they got in their feelings about, I don't know, some conversation that ex exposed some sort of truth. And instead of kind of coming to terms with that truth, they wanted to lash out. I almost feel like there was a confrontation between the two of you about someone's, I don't know why I feel like addictive behaviors, and that doesn't have to be solely alcohol, drugs, sex, it could just be like codependency, it could be, um, I don't know, Taurus, it's like when they, it comes to you, they could be very like territorial, very possessive, and maybe that kind of, you know, in, at first you kind of were a little flattered because they cared so much, but then it kind of got a little too much for someone here but they yeah they have not been able to stop thinking about you since you guys have had this separation or fight literally you're constantly on their mind they almost feel like they're going crazy over you Taurus especially if you like block their number for the meantime is what I'm hearing like they they can't stand that they can't get a hold of you to explain. What's crowning the reading is the Ace of Pentacles. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, they want a new start. I feel whatever they have to say, they do believe it's very valuable. They do believe it's, they know they're going to have to provide you with something that is going to be solid, a offer that is going to be unbreakable is kind of what I'm hearing um like if they are coming back to you they have to be 100 they have to be legitimate they know they have to start changing is kind of what I'm hearing and they'll do like honestly Taurus I feel like they're gonna say I'll do whatever it takes tell me what to do and I'll do it this is earth energy tangible energy in the 3d someone just really wants you back And for those of you who haven't, like, blocked their number, it's like you've received, like, five missed calls from them that same night or the next day, and you're just still not ready to oh, talk about it yet. And for some of you, you were dating this person. You were, you know, together. You were committed. People knew about you, too. What's reading us is the Ace of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What I feel with this, Taurus, is that they just feel the passion for you will never die out. They want to respark this chemistry you two have, or they kind of said, like, there's no one else I can feel this way except for you. Like, 
no one can hold a flame to you is kind of what I'm getting in this. No one was as good in bed as you are. They've never had anyone better, okay? I mean, the, if you didn't make love with this person, it's, this message isn't for you, but like, there was climaxes, okay? You sent, you really rocked each other's world as far as that goes. I'm seeing like steamed windows even. Um, multiple hours long sessions. And that's what they missed too. You brought a fire into their life. Excitement into their life. And now they feel that light is gone. That fire is gone. In the recent past, we have the Four of Wands, Aries energy. Yeah, they felt, both of you, this is why it's been so hard. It's like, you both felt like there was something that you could build off of this, that you guys both had dreams about this, like expectations about this. Like you were telling people, this is the one we may move in together. We're gonna start, you know, planning the next steps to having like, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, but it starts at the Four of Wands where there's a solidarity and an understanding of a passionate foundation between the two of you. Um, Taurus, I almost get though, like whether this is you or the other person, like the moment they saw you, the moment you saw them, you knew there was something there. There was like an instant spark between the two of you, an instant there, it was almost like a soul recognition between the two of you. And you gotta know, Taurus, too, like, they only feel, and I guess I'm just repeating spirit wants to re keep on saying this, maybe this is their thoughts and their energy that keeps on cycling in their minds about you, but it's like, you even see this woman kind of in the river doing her thing. And then the very background, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like someone right there by my nail watching them in the distance. Like they, they cannot see being with any, with anyone else but you. But again, it just does feel a bit possessive. It does feel a bit territorial. It does feel a bit jealous. Maybe there was an argument because you were talking to a friend that they felt insecure about and accused you of certain things that you would never do and they got it really twisted you know just the whole you felt like they disrespected you by like coming after you like that or coming at you like that I don't know it was it feels like out like really out there type of accusations or something like that for some of you not all but there really was, in the past, someone thought a solid partnership. Something really real. You may have gone camping with this person before. Yeah. What you need to know about this connection, Taurus, is the Five of Wands Leo energy. There's, I don't know if like you guys were like for a while in like the honeymoon phase where, you know, you saw each other with, with rose colored glasses, you would tell everyone about how great the other person was and then certain topics started to come up and I don't know if it's like suppressed energy, suppressed angers, frustrations about the other person that was never said and spoken and it just blew over one day, but others of you you know, and if that's the case and there was an argument, like, that's still, like, clearly the reason why this kind of happened. This whole separation, disagreement, fight, this is the reason why, you know, it was a pretty big one, is what I'm hearing. Um, but others of you, too, they're, like, picking fights. They want to fight someone who they may think is interested in you, or... Like, they're the type to tell people to back off because you're theirs. Um, they're very aggressive, kind of, Taurus. And maybe that's kind of what made you a bit weary of this person, was their aggression. Especially when it comes to their ego, when they feel like they're on the defense. 
and maybe you've seen them like blow up at like friends, family members. And it was like a red flag, definitely, for some of you. But I feel Taurus too, like they're not going to stop fighting for you. I feel like they're not going to stop like... They feel like now it's a competition with other people. Just the thought of you being single, the thought of you dating someone else really drives them insane. Mad. I want to clarify this to see if there's anything else I'm missing from this Five of Wands. Anything else Taurus needs to know about this Five of Wands spirit? Yeah, we have the King of Swords. Aquarius energy. So, yeah, I feel, again, I wonder if this is your energy. Where, like, you decide to bring something up that was bothering you for a bit and you thought it would just be a cool calm collected combo like here look this didn't really rub me the right way I just wanted to talk about this and they like I don't know blew up over something and you were wondering if there's some dishonesty going on trust issues going on um and maybe you decided to pull back or pull away just so you can get your head right about this to make sure that your heart wasn't being too carried away in the situation Masculine air energy. And then seven of pentacles. Hmm. Taurus energy. Some of you could be dealing with another Taurus perhaps. Doesn't have to be. But I wonder for some of you with this ace of pentacles crowning the reading. If you there was a fight coming up about, you know, no offer of commitment. Or like you guys had plans to move in and they backed out last minute. Like some sort of cold feet. Um. I almost get to like some issues around children having kids. Someone doesn't want kids or someone has kids and it's kind of making everything a bit difficult here. Or if someone did get, I'm just because I'm seeing two aces here, especially the ace of wands, someone could have gotten pregnant and the other person was completely not prepared for it. Maybe the other, both of you weren't, but it kind of came out of nowhere. It happened and someone kind of freaked out. Not for everyone, right? But like plans failing or where you thought you guys were on the same page, turns out you were on two completely different pages. Whew, my goodness. Okay. Well, to see the likely outcome from this situation, Taurus, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. But before we go, I will pull a card from this deck here. And I'm going to see if there's anything else that you need to know about this connection, about how they think about you, what they want from this with you. I mean, it seems very, very up and down emotional right now. A lot of, well, there's no cups, but it just feels like someone's in this mental prison, this mental turmoil, this cycling in regards to you or both of you are doing this with each other. Is there anything else Taurus needs to know? There we go. Heartbreak. Yeah, someone's heartbroken over this situation. Maybe both of you are because, again, like with the Four of Wands in the recent past, you really thought this was it. You guys really thought you were so much more stronger than, like the bond between the two of you was so strong that nothing could really tear you guys apart. And then this happened. And it was a big wake-up call. But yeah, heartbreak. There are someone... Both of you are heartbroken over this situation and it's still lingering. It still hurts. It hurts when they think about you is what I'm hearing. They have definitely cried over you. You've cried over each other maybe. And then I dream about you at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, like Taurus, they can't even escape the thoughts of you when they're sleeping. Their conscious and unconscious is just completely surrounded by you. I wonder if there has been codependency issues because it seems very, very attached still. And maybe that needs to be observed and maybe you kind of recognize that as well. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading to see what is likely to happen from this. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, I'm going to overturn this card here to see what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do what is likely to unfold in this connection by the end of October for you guys, and pull some oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this connection, to ask Spirit if there's anything else you need to know about this person, know about the situation for your highest and greatest good. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. 
But if this is where we depart, Taurus, I really hope that this has resonated with you in some way and has given you clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Want to win a free customized gift box from me? I'm doing this new giveaway where I'm selecting one lucky subscriber every month to win a free customized gift box I put together for the winner just to give back in some way because you guys are so awesome and such an amazing support system for me and my channel. So I'll be selecting one winner to receive a box full of goodies that contains stuff such as like a tarot card I pull for that person, an oracle card I pull, a crystal that I'll intuitively select for that person's energy, and so much more. If you're interested in seeing how you can enter your chance to win that customized gift box or what else may be in there, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there in case you're interested. I love you, Taurus, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Taurus. <laughs>